Work continues aboard the Divekin in preparation for its trip down to Hobart for the Australian Wooden Boat Festival. And one of the big jobs is cleaning the 15th century Dutch housing bricks that are used for ballast below decks. Yeah. So what are you doing, Frank? I'm on the helm. On the helm. On the helm. I'm steering the boat. <laughs> and what's this? It's a whipstaff. A whipstaff. Yeah. Today we're just doing a test sail around Sydney Harbour. Some of the crew have come over from Perth and the last time they sailed on the Divekin was two years ago. We've got, we've got a bandit on board. <laughs> Next morning, it's time for our first overnighter. And this time we're heading from Sydney Harbour up to Pitwater. We're actually going to stay at Flint and Steel Beach and then come back to Sydney the next day. Hi there, I'm Dudley. I'm part of the crew on Bikekin, sailing down to Hobart. Hi, I'm Brad. Hi, I'm Richard. We're part of the crew sailing down on Dyken to Hobart. Heading 355. So how far do you reckon we're off the coast now? I can still see the beaches. It's probably what, four or five k's. Uh, maybe. Marine Rescue Sydney, Marine Rescue Sydney. This is Tall Ship Divekin. Tall Ship Divekin calling on channel 16. Tall Ship Divekin, Tall Ship Divekin. This is Marine Rescue Sydney, over. Marine Rescue Sydney, Marine Rescue Sydney. Tall Ship Divekin. Just calling for a radio check, over. 
mentorship. Dave, can we hear you loud and clear? But there's an open mic today, and this is causing background hiss on channel 16. Over. Marine Rescue Sydney Tallship Dopin, thank you very much sir. For your information we are four miles off PY Heads and uh, proceeding north. Tallship Dopkin, Tallship Dopkin, uh, we do see you on AIS, over. Hi I'm Emily, I've come over from Perth to sail the Dopkin down from Sydney all the way to Wakeland. Uh, my name is Laura and I've also come from WA to sail a dive from Sydney to Hobart. G'day, I'm Harry. I'm part of the crew. That's Hale Darshkin from Sydney to Hobart. Raising the ball that indicates we're at anchor. So there we are, we've just set anchor uh, just around from Pitwater, opposite the Tonga, ready for the night. After a good day's sail, all the way up from Sydney. Maximum speed is about 7.2 knots, and we had about 15 to 20 knots on the way in the afternoon. Good day. But the next morning, our luck had changed. Falling up the anchor, it's nine o'clock in the morning and it's pouring with rain. The Daikin's 110 tonnes and we're pulling it towards the anchor. Not easy. Well, we've got the anchor up, now we've got to hose it off because it's covered in mud. Benjamin and I'm a deck hand and I'm French. So unfortunately the wind was in the wrong direction so we've had to motor all the way back from Pitwater. Uh, we're just coming up to the north pole. A bit disappointing because uh, it's been raining on and off and we just had to motor back. But that's life. 
So we're heading off to Hobart on Australia Day and it should take about 10 days. If you want to follow our progress, go to the Australian National Maritime Museum website.